All right, guys, Roman numerals. So this one probably fits into the category of why is it on the test? And the answer is I have no idea. Like, you'll never use it. Um, maybe it'll help you know, you know, which number Super Bowl it is or something. Um, but it does show up on the test, so let's go over it. Okay, so um, this little list here of the Roman numerals, you need to have memorized. <clears throat> so I equals 1, V is 5, X equals 10, and then you can you can read the rest. Okay, so in general, what you'll do is, so if the, num if the num Roman numerals show up in uh, descending order, right, going from like uh, largest to smallest, right, so like X, V, I, let's say, then you just add them together, right, real simple. All right, so you have x is 10, v is 5, i is 1, 10 plus 5 plus 1, 16. <clears throat> really, easy, really easy, right? Um, but you can also get one that looks like this. And if it's x, i, v, right, where we can see right here, you have a smaller Roman numeral than here, so it's not in descending order. Then um, i, v uh, you subtract the bigger number from the smaller one, right? So 5 minus 1 now, rather than 5 plus 1, is 4. And then add them together. 10 plus 4 is 14. XIV is 14, right? Um, <clears throat> and to, let's see, make sure we have that concept. Like, what if it was IX? All right, same thing. If it was XI, then you just add them together. 10 plus 1 is 11. Because it's i x, right? i is 1, x is 10. We actually just take them and go 10 minus 1. The answer is 9. The answer can never be negative. And you could get ones that are a little trickier, like this, right? But the concept, as long as you understand the concept and you take your time with it, really, you're just dealing with bigger numbers. Right here we have m c m, right? And so m is a thousand c is a hundred right so if you just if it said mmc right then it would be in descending order or just the same then you, you would just add them up a thousand plus a thousand plus a hundred and you would get 2100 <clears throat> but again here we have c is a smaller value a hundred and then we have m coming after it a larger value a thousand right so in that case we just subtract these two numbers Right, thousand minus a hundred is nine hundred, and then we add them together. Right, that M in the beginning was a thousand, and <clears throat> excuse me, that leaves us with nineteen hundred for our final answer. We'll do one more. XL. Um, okay, so X is ten. L is 50. And so once again, we have a smaller number in front of a larger number, right? If this number was LX, I'll just write that one in there as well, LX, then it would just be 50 plus 10 equals 60. But in the case of XL, uh, X is 10, L is 50, then we're going to subtract them. 50 minus 10 is 40. So that's pretty much everything you have to know about Roman numerals. Uh, if you're really not used to it, it can actually seem tricky for a minute or two. But once you get used to um, just subtracting them, if you have the smaller value in front of the larger value, and then adding the sequence together, if there was anything in front of that, uh, you'll be good to go on Roman numerals.